hello mathematicians i hope you understand understand and enjoyed the yesterday's problem today we continue the same question paper we do the uh, next problem we will do question number 22 okay this is from again csa june 2014 question paper okay this is a very interesting problem and uh, so in all our videos even though we are solving one problem but we give many interesting ideas that will be that might be helpful in other problems also okay for example in this problem we st we study about permutation groups okay so i'll and permutation matrices so i'll i'll i briefly discuss the relation between uh, permutation matrices and the permutations or permutation groups and uh, so that uh, connection between permutations and permutation matrices that can be used to solve many problems that are asked in uh, CSIR exam and that are going to be asked in the CSIR exam. So let's start. So the question is given the permutation sigma. So a permutation is given. So what is a permutation? Permutation is basically a bijection. From the set 1 2 3 4 5 to 1 2 3 4 5 so it is a bijection and uh, given a bijection sigma so now this uh, sigma is an element of s5 okay symmetric group and five simple symbols given a sigma they are associating a matrix a and it is defined to be the one whose ith column so they are now describing the ith column of the ith column of a ith column of a what is ith ith column of a ith column of a is the sigma of ith column of identity matrix i first let me write the uh, identity matrix so so i it is not given it should have been given it is i5 because we are talking about uh, 5 by 5 matrices or uh, it is a symmet it is a uh, permutation on five symbols so we are talking about the 5 by 5 identity matrix so 1 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 okay great this is our uh, 5 by 5 identity matrix and using this matrix i'm going to define i sorry define the matrix a so what they are saying the ith the, what they are saying the ith column of a is the sigma of ith column of the identity matrix okay therefore for, let's uh, let's write what is the let's write uh, what is the first column of a okay so what is the first column of a first column of a is the sigma of first column of identity matrix so what is uh, if i put uh, i equal to 1 then i have to put sigma of 1 what is sigma of 1 is 3 okay therefore first column of a is the third column of identity okay because you may sigma of 1 is 3 okay so we get uh, 0 0 1 0 0 okay very good now similarly what is the second similarly what is the second column second column of a second column of a is equal to the sigma of tooth column of the identity matrix what is sigma of 2 that is 1 therefore here we get sigma of 2 is 1 therefore we take the first column of identity and we are putting it as a second column of a okay similarly third column of a is the second column of identity therefore we put 1 0 0 0 0 fourth column of a is equal to the fifth column of identity what is fifth column of identity 0 0 0 0 1 i think i have made a mistake third column 
third column sorry yeah third column of uh, a is the second column of uh, identity therefore i should put 0 1 0 0 0 and you have then fifth then fifth column of then fifth column of uh, a is equal to fourth column of identity that way we can write away we could have uh, written it okay therefore now we have explicitly written what is our a okay then the question is what they are asking so now we have explicitly write down the matrix a which of the following is correct that's the question so whether uh, whether a equal to a power minus 2 or a equal to a power minus 5 or uh, equivalently we can write it as write the options as whether a cube equal to i a equal to a power minus 2 means a cube equal to i or a power 6 equal to i this is a power 5 equal to i and this is I'm sorry This, cost, this can be written as a power 5 equal to i. This option is a square equal to identity. Okay. Now, we know the, we, we have the matrix A. So, we can easily multiply and see which of the four option is uh, correct. But, that will take lot of time. For example, calculating the fifth power or sixth power of a matrix is a time taking process and easily we will make an arithmetic mistake that leads to a lot of problem but it is a part big problem so uh, you, you can spend at most like two three minutes on this problem but if you multiply five by five matrix to third power fourth power it is a time consuming process so we we, we need to use some results from group theory so that the uh, we don't need really need to calculate the matrices okay okay good now since this matrix is obtained from the permut since this matrix is obtained from the permutation sigma instead of calling it a i am going to call it a sub sigma a sub sigma okay so now if you understand so you take any permutation sigma belongs to is s5 then by using the this this process how do we construct the matrix a so first column of a was the sigma of 1 that is 3 third column of identity matrix is what the first column of a sigma of 2 is 1 therefore first column of identity is the second column of a sigma of 3 is 2 therefore third column of a is the second column of identity sigma of 4 equal to 5 therefore fourth column of uh, a is the fifth column of identity then sigma of 5 equal to 4 therefore fifth column of a is the fourth column of identity so this is this we have done for sigma but we can do this for any arbitrary permutation of S5. Okay. So for a for sorry for any sigma belongs to S5, we can construct the mat we can construct the matrix S sigma. Okay. Now uh, consider the set P5. P5 is equal to set of all A sigma such that sigma belongs to S5. Okay. Now we know that. Uh, uh, so cardinality of S5 is we know that uh, it is a uh, 5 factorial. So one can prove that uh, there is a bijection like uh, uh, I define a function f from s5 to the set p5 and uh, what is f of sigma i take a permutation i send it to the corresponding matrix a sub sigma a sigma then 
then f is a bijection so okay so prove that f is a bijection so it the proof is uh, simple you have to prove it is 1 1 and on 2 um, yeah give it some try uh, it is uh, then so it is a bijection we have to verify yeah i am i am leave it to you guys to verify it is simple now what is p5 so if you look at a sigma a sigma satisfies some nice properties every row and every column of a sigma contain exactly exactly 1 1 and other entries are 0 correct so such matrices such matrices are called the permutation matrices called the permutation matrices for example we, we write s3 s3 is we know that identity permutation 1 2 1 3 2 3 these are the two cycles then 1 2 3 and 1 3 2 so there are six elements in uh, s3 then what are the uh, permutation matrices p so this is first you take uh, for identity it corresponds to the identity matrix now 1 2 what is what is 1 2 the permutation 1 2 is 1 2 3 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 1 3 goes to 3 so what is the uh, so basically here i want to write uh, a 1 2 comma a 1 3 a 2 3 a 1 2 3 a 1 3 2 okay so this is a identity yes identity permutation okay now we'll we'll calculate a a 1 2 a 1 3 so uh, 1 2 this permutation is uh, 1 2 3 2 go, 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 1 3 goes to 3 then what is a sub 1 2 so we know how to define the matrix uh, a sub sigma if 1 goes to 2 then the first column of uh, uh, a should be the second column of identity so the second column of identity is this one now second column of uh, a should be the first column of identity so we put 100 0, 0. then third column of identity then third column of identity should be the third column of uh, a third column of a should be the third column of identity so we put 0 0 1 this is the third column of the this is the third column of the identity matrix okay very good Similarly, we can write out other matrices also. A13. So 0, 1, 3. This will be 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, A23 equal to 1, 0, 0. 0 0 1 0 1 0 and uh, a 1 2 3 equal to 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 
वन जीरो जीरो वन थ्री टू इक्वल टू जीरो जीरो वन वन बस टू थ्री वन जीरो जीरो देन थ्री बस टू टू ओके सो इफ यू लुक एट नाउ सो दिस दिस मैट्रिक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सॉरी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो आई हैव रिटर्न हियर दिस सिक्स मैट्रिक्स form the set p3 this p3 so and all these matrices all these matrices satisfying the condition that each row and each column contains exactly 1 1 and all the other entries are zero therefore uh, i replace uh, this by identity matrix so a identity equal to 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 Okay, three six three. So these six matrices are called the permutation permutation matrices of order three. Okay, so how many of them are? How many of them are there? There are three factorial. So we see that we see that. f from s3 to p3 uh, f of sigma equal to a sub sigma is a bijection because both has uh, six element and you can see that clearly it is on one and on two this is general in this is uh, true in general so f from sn to pn okay cardinality of sn is a, again we know n factorial similarly we have cardinality of pn also n factorial like we here like here we con constructed uh, p3 we can similarly construct pn for each permutation uh, from s for each permutation from sn i will get a uh, similarly this kind of matrices so okay that way we can construct pn now what is important is this map sigma this map f f of sigma equal to a sigma <coughs> is a it is is also a group homomorphism group homomorphism so i let you to verify that so verify it is a group homomorphism that is f of sigma 1 sigma 2 equal to f of sigma 1 f of sigma 2 that is what we have to verify basically what you have to verify a sigma 1 sigma 2 so you take permutations sigma 1 sigma 2 first you multiply them now this is a one permutation for this permutation you construct the permutation matrix this is equal to this is equal to a sigma 1 into a sigma 2 so here left hand side first maybe i should put a bracket if it is confusing so here first find the product then you find the matrix a okay but here first you calculate the matrix corresponds to the permutation sigma 1 then the matrix corresponds to the permutation sigma 2 then you are doing the multiplication so this is a matrix multiplication so this is what one has to verify so i let you verify it as a exercise therefore what we have observed is f from sn to pn f of sigma equal to a sigma is a bijection and uh, and group homomorphism okay therefore this uh, pn set of all uh, uh, this uh, set of all permutation matrices 
with respect to matrix multiplication this is a group this we can verify separately so you take two uh, two such you take two permute you take two permutation matrices you multiply them you will get again permutation matrix then identity matrix is there uh, so far a uh, a inverse uh, a for matrix a sigma its inverse will be a sigma inverse okay that also you can verify therefore uh, this uh, permutation matrices form a group of order n factorial and it is a we have a bijection and a whole group homomorphism between s n to this set of group of all permutation matrices therefore this uh, therefore the group s n is isomorphic to the group of all permutation matrices okay so what is the advantage so you might ask uh, for this uh, small problem like calculating whether uh, a power uh, a cube equal to identity a power 6 equal to identity now you might think that calculating this uh, higher powers are easier than uh, doing all this homomorphism all this stuff but that is not the point so if you know this uh, uh, isomorphism using this function f this idea can be used in uh, some many many other problems so whenever you there is some question asked regarding uh, uh, asked with uh, permutation matrices in the CHR question you use this idea the answer will come out immediately okay so now now we can now we come to our problem so if it is a homomorphism homomorphism preserves order of the element okay therefore so homomorph sorry homomorphism preserves order of an element sorry not homomorphism uh, this is an uh, isomorphism because uh, f is an isomorphism so isomorphism preserves order of the elements what does it mean that means that uh, order of order of uh, sigma is equal to order of uh, f of sigma this is equal to order of a sigma okay because f is a group isomorphism okay now what what is a what is order of a sigma so now this pn is a group with respect to matrix multiplication okay matrix multiplication therefore so i take a matrix a belongs to pn so it is basically a permutation matrix uh, order of a so now you should not confuse with its uh, there are two order we are talking about so order of the matrix a as an element of the group pn that is one order but it is a n by it is a matrix of uh, n by uh, size n by n so that it is a n by n matrix so that uh, also we call it as order but uh, now we are not talking about that order we are talking about the order that we discuss in the group theory so order of an element what is order of an element the least positive integer such that uh, x power n equal to e right least positive integer such that x power n equal to e this is what this n is what we call maybe we put k so least positive integer such that x power k equal to e this k is what we call order of x right the, that is the order we are referring to so order of a so you take a permutation matrix its order is what you have to raise it to some power uh, order of a equal to order of a equal to k if uh, a power k should be identity matrix and k is the least least such number okay 
therefore what we have so now we come to the our permutation sigma what is our permutation sigma sigma takes uh, maybe i just write the uh, yeah 3 1 2 5 4 3 1 2 5 4 1 2 3 4 5 so what is uh, now if you uh, decompose sigma as a cycle you get uh, sigma 1 goes 1 goes to 3 uh, so we get uh, 1 goes to 3 and uh, then 3 goes to 2 therefore 3 goes to 2 2 goes to 1 so we have we have and we have we have arrived to where we started so we just finish the close the bracket then 4 goes to 5 5 goes to 4 therefore this is the cycle decomposition of the permut given permutation sigma now what is order of sigma order of sigma is lcm of length of its uh, disjoint uh, cycles okay therefore yeah else so this uh, this cycle has length 3 this cycle has length 2 therefore therefore order of therefore order of sigma equal to 6 okay this implies order of a sigma is also 6 because why since f of sigma equal to a sigma okay so sigma takes f takes sigma to a sigma and f is a group isomorphism that we just saw therefore order of sigma should be uh, same as the order of a sigma so order of sigma equal to 6 implies sigma power 6 equal to identity similarly order of a power sigma equal to 6 this implies that a power sigma power 6 equal to identity okay so uh, from this we conclude that uh, a power 6 equal to identity means that uh, option c is the correct answer but as i was saying our aim is not just to solve this problem but to uh, learn many stuff uh, here and uh, so that the, we can use them in uh, uh, other problems okay so now a power 6 a, a sigma power 6 equal to identity that we have proved so technically the problem stops here but uh, there are more result is true so i will i will briefly say some more result so sign of a permutation sign of the permutation equal to minus 1 power number of transpositions number of transpositions in sigma okay for example uh, in our sigma so this sigma can be written as 1 3 1 2 4 5 okay so how many transpositions are there there are three transpositions are there therefore uh, sign of uh, therefore sign of uh, sigma is equal to minus 1 power 3 this is equal to minus 1 so it is if it is a minus 1 it is a odd permutation okay if it is a plus 1 we say it is a even permutation why i put a 3 here why i put a 3 here because because this uh, 1 3 2 so should be splitted like this into transposition 1 3 1 2 then this 4 pi so there are this is a transposition a cycle of length 2 is called transpositions there are three transpositions therefore i have put a 3 so it is a odd permutation okay so similarly we define the sign of arbitrary permutation in sn to be minus 1 power number of transposition so one can prove that uh, what we, we, we can uh, so this is a very important result determinant of a sigma that is equal to uh, sine of 
the permutation sigma so you you verify it in uh, with various examples and you you try to prove it it is very simple proof so uh, using our isomorphism you can easily give a proof prove it then what is a trace trace of the matrix a sigma equal to fix fix of sigma so what is fix of sigma so cardinality of fix of sigma what is fix of sigma fix of sigma is the set of all 1 less than or equal to i less than or equal to n i assume that sigma is a permutation in sn sigma belongs to sn so then fix of sigma is uh, sigma phi equal to i okay so we look at the uh, points whichever map to itself okay these are all called fixed points of sigma the trace of the matrix a sigma is equal to the cardinality of the fixing set of uh, the permutation sigma let's verify this with our examples so for example for this matrix trace is 3 because this is identity permutation so identity permutation takes 1 to 1 2 to 2 3 to 3 now consider this permutation it takes 1 to 2 2 to 1 and 3 to 3 so there is only one fixed point for this permutation so for example this 1 2 permutation if you write it so 2 goes to 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 1 3 goes to 3 so how many fixed points only one fixed point now you calculate the trace of this matrix trace is 1 so similarly you can check in for the other these examples also okay so these are all some important properties of uh, this matrix and uh, this uh, calculating the determinant of uh, uh, the permutation matrices can be reduced to calculate the sign of the permutation so this this is this will be very useful in uh, many other problems okay uh, so carefully read and try to make a, your own notes out of this okay and if you have any doubts uh, please uh, comment below i am very happy to answer okay okay all the best guys have a good day bye